to be here in Japan to ski is just so special to me. Oh my god, I'm like shaking. <laughs> Good morning from a very chilly Tokyo. Got my turtleneck on, I am ready for the cold. Today, we're actually leaving Tokyo pretty much like right away. I need to head to the bus terminal now, but we are gonna be heading up to Kukuba, which is in the Japanese Alps, and we're gonna be skiing for the next little while. I am so excited. This is like the main reason I actually came to Japan. Word on the street is the snow situation, like isn't the best right now, so we'll have to see when we get there. I was really hoping for a lot of fresh powder, but you know, it is what it is. We're gonna make the most of it no matter what, even if there is just grass, I will find a way to ski on it. <laughs> so we need to actually get into a taxi right now and head over to, what's it called? Shinjuku, Shinjuku Expressway Bus Terminal. We have an auto door, oh yeah. <laughs> Still exciting. If you're planning on going to Hakuba from Tokyo, there's a few different ways that you can do it. One of them is to take the slow bus, which I'm taking, which is gonna be like five and a half, six hours. And it's about half the price of the bullet train, which gets you there in three hours. Last night I was like, I'm on a budget, I need to save, but now I'm kind of regretting it to be honest because I'm not gonna be able to work on the bus because it makes you like car sick when on a train for some reason, I seem to be okay. So we'll see how it goes, we'll experience it together but I'm already feeling like maybe on the way back I'm gonna get the bullet train and just like splurge. Bye! <laughs> My driver was so nice. It's honestly amazing how nice people are here. Even though English isn't super common, people will go out of their way to help you. It's amazing. Like he was giving me full on directions. So let's hope that I don't mess his directions up. <laughs> Found our bus and we made it on time. Also I like already feel like I need to go and buy some like extra snacks. Because you know, what else do you do on a road trip for like five or six hours if you don't snack? So full of desperation, I can barely stand the rotation, I can hardly start to speak, I'm weak. Thank you. Okay, so we have been driving for about two hours now. And we've just stopped, I have honestly no idea where we are, but we have a 15 minute break and I believe we get two of these. The fresh air feels nice, not gonna lie. I, uh, I don't love being in buses or cars for long amounts of time, but you know what? Doing it in the name of skiing. Okay, what do we have here? Oh, I think it's a fruit stand. These oranges look really good. Apples, I need some more of those. Okay, perfect. One thing that's really interesting about Japanese culture is that when you're on the bus or you're on the train, it's always really quiet and I love it. It's so, so nice. You can just sit there in peace and silence and as the little introvert that I am, I love that. So anywho, at this rest stop here, they have a bunch of different food options, which was also really impressive because in North America, not that often do you come across rest stops that have good food. So I opted for something semi-healthy and I actually had this guy help me. Locals are so nice, again, like went out of his way to help me with this, but there's no English on it. So he told me that this is the vegetarian one. I love these little rice things. And then I got a bag of oranges. Yum, 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 yum. Now, the question is which bus is mine? I like think it's that one, but I'm not 100% sure. Found the right bus. <laughs> and last rest stop before we get to Hakuba. Your girl is thirsty AF, so I'm gonna pick up something to drink. This is our little rest stop. So we have a whole bunch of vending machines here and I have never tried one of these yet because frankly, they're a little bit intimidating. <laughs> I can feel like there's so many colors and so much that I can't read, but I would love, I would love a hot coffee. So let's, uh, let's figure this out. <laughs> Don't really know what these things mean. I think that's sugar. I'm gonna guess that's sugar. Okay. <laughs> Okay, that's not a touch screen. Maybe this one? Oh, I think that was right. That was the right one. <gasps> oh, hello. First vending machine experience, partial success. I got my coffee. No milk, no lid, but you know what? Next time, next time I'll work on that. There's always room for improvement. 
I think we have about two more hours and then we will finally be in Hakuba and we can begin exploring. We have a few things we need to get done before this evening so we are all ready for our skiing adventure. We have officially made it to Hakuba. That was an insanely beautiful drive. We could see the Japanese Alps for hours before we got here and they're just getting bigger and bigger. I mean, well, obviously, <laughs> as we were driving towards them. Also, by the way, I would actually recommend taking the bus. It's half the price of the bullet train and it was super beautiful. The only thing that I think would have like majorly wrecked that is if there was any sort of traffic. We luckily didn't have any, but I saw going into Tokyo when we were leaving, there was like a ton of traffic. So that would have made really sucked. Um, oh my God, I'm like shaking. <laughs> Frankly, it is freaking freezing outside and my little thin turtleneck as an underlayer on this jacket is certainly not enough. But I just wanted to reiterate like how excited and just like, ah, like beyond stoked I am to be here. I grew up downhill ski racing. Skiing is my love, my life, and living in California, I really don't get to do it as much as I wish I did. To be here in Japan to ski is just so special to me. And I love like the whole like ski resort vibe too. Um, it just really like, I don't know, it feels so magical and like winter wonderland-y. Stoke is so real. I feel like I've used that word way too many times today, but I'm stoked. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> We're gonna have so much fun. I also feel like my suitcase is on its very last legs for this trip. It's just like, it's living on a prayer right now. <laughs> I always forget the sides of the cars are, uh, or the side that you drive on is different here. Silly. <laughs> So I can't Okay. okay. <laughs> we have made it to my hostel. How beautiful is that? Like my dream. I love it. It's like the perfect log cabin. All right, I'll check in at my hostel and I have to say my first impression when I walked in, there's like a huge area upstairs where it's all common room for all guests. There is the most beautiful kitchen I've ever seen. It is absolutely stunning with a view of the mountains. It's so peaceful, so clean, so beautiful. There's a really nice little lounge area where you can watch TV. And then we came downstairs to the room area <laughs> oh this is so different than the photo is there going to be heat later heater yeah yep so that's your heater there um if you want warm that's it in the middle okay hot, can we put it on for, um, yeah. for this uh bed tonight i'm paying 70 dollars a night and to stay in a hostel that's that's a lot of money so i'm just gonna get settled here maybe go upstairs to the nice area and do some work for a little bit Okay, so chilled out, did a little bit of worky work, and I'm gonna head out and get some skis. Super nice, the company who you rent the skis from, they actually come and pick you up and drop you off after. And it uh, drives up the price real fast when you have to rent equipment. Skiing is like already an expensive sport, and uh, yeah, paying for the equipment every day, man, it, uh, it adds up, it adds up. Ready to roll, now we're gonna pick out some skis. Got my name on them and everything. Thank you so much for watching. I am so excited for what is to come on this travel series. We're only just getting started here. Lots more fun coming your way. So make sure you are subscribed with the notification bell turned on. Leave me a comment, say hi, and I'll see you in the next one. I had no idea this was here. to get going.